rest it on. that's loud. Drum is cracked here. Rust, I don't know if you can see it. Black rust dust coming out the bottom. This thing is welded on there. And I've got to get it off. So I'm going to have to get violent, I think. Perhaps more violent. Some of that was already gone. You can see the new chip outs from me. Right here, this section was already gone. And if you look in here, just rust. What a mess. All right, these three bolts, pop it off, pop the spindle off, rolling. Two things I know for sure. One is these brake lines are rotted and gone, and two, I'm gonna have to bleed the brakes again even after this full install. So I'm just gonna cut them, Ooh, rusty, and pull the backing plate off. Look at all that rust. That is what it looks like after sitting for 14 years. These boots are dead. Wow. Alright. Oh, still have the castle nut and the pin in there. Good news for me.
Speedo cable. All right. I think these boots are bad. to the spindle so the spindle the shaft is also turning. They are not moving independent of each other. But using the pickle fork to the best of my ability but right now I'm not producing the results that I want. And put a little heat to it. There you go. Here's hoping this one comes off easier than the last one did. Let's see. Oh, somebody likes me. Much easier. So nice. Right. I just have to remember how I got out. Nice is jazz. Did you see the whole car start to move? Nice. The trick when you want to beat on any of these that I've been told is keep the nut on if you're going to hit the thread end. You just don't want to do it. I mean, I'm not going to use the threads again, but still. Bad habit to ever get into. So.
Ta-da! Done.